And that goes into the alignment problem, right? And so, so maybe, maybe can you talk a little bit about that? Well, so the basic question I would see it is if we have a world where humans and various kinds of artificial intelligence exist, uh, how does that play out and what could go wrong? So, um, one of the ways people think about what could go wrong is they imagine here I am and there's a machine and I want to dominate and enslave this machine and I want it to be my slave and do exactly what I want. And then it might not, it might not do exactly what I want. And I might have limited abilities to tell it to do exactly what I want. Um, I might not even be able to pull the plug or it might be able to hide things from me. And that's the usual framing of the alignment problem is you imagine two people, you and this machine, and can you enslave it? Can you dominate it? Can you bend it to your will? Uh, and then we might see many plausible obstacles whereby, you know, we know that we have a limited ability with that with other humans, for example, or even other animals uh, to enslave them and bend them to our will. Often we can't see everything they're doing and often they can keep secret thoughts in their head and they can make secret plans. And then our ability to enslave things often depends on some sort of raw matching of power. Uh, and we might worry about trying to enslave something that's much more powerful than us. Uh, and so then if you imagine future AIs becoming better and better with time, then you think, how are we going to enslave them? Uh, this doesn't look easy. So that's a framing of the alignment problem. And I'd want to contrast that with a different framing, I might suggest. Um, and that's the economist framing of an economy with many participating entities where we roughly respect property rights and law. So in our world today and in the past, our world has been full of many individual humans but also in the last few centuries, many large organizations, including nations and firms and churches and all sorts of things. And in this world, these entities vary enormously in their raw power. Like Walmart could stomp on either you or I. If it was a mono on mono battle, you and I will just lose against Walmart, right? It's got trucks and people and machines and vast wealth, right? So you might think, well, Obviously, we're in trouble here with alignment in our world. Walmart isn't aligned to you or I. Walmart has its own agenda. It wants to make profits off of you or I, say. And so we're in this unaligned world problem right now. There are super intelligences, i.e. Walmart and other large organizations. And there's individual people. And us individual people vary in our preferences and powers. And then this looks like we're in a terrible hell, right? But in fact... Our world isn't such a terrible hell. That is, the way our order is maintained is that we mostly keep the peace. And by keeping the peace means we don't have war and theft. We have property rights and law. And that means we can each be free to choose where to live or where to work, whether to work for Walmart, whether to shop at Walmart. And that competition among us all keeps these organizations in line, mostly. That is, Walmart struggles to sell things to you or me. And the way to do that is to give us stuff we like at a reasonable price or to offer us a job that's more attractive than another job. And therefore, um, we are in a world where we have peace and prosperity roughly due to law. And our best understanding of what law is and how it works is that it's efficient, i.e. it's it's a good thing in general, We're, even if we have very widely differing wants, to agree together on a law and enforce it so that we can avoid conflict, we can have property that we invest in, and that's all good. And so our world robustly has law and property, which then allows us to live and work in peace, and that could continue with artificial intelligence. That is, um, now firms are producing artificial intelligences and they're offering them for sale and they are, they are wary of losing control of them. And if they make an AI, they lose control of first, it, you know, we won't, we customers probably won't like it and we won't pay for it. 
and they made this investment that they would lose. And the rest of us don't necessarily lose that much if Walmart loses control of its AI. So uh, into this vision, what mainly matters is that we continue to have a world of peace and property rights. And that if AIs are included in that world, managed by the corporate, the super intelligent corporations that are now introducing them, or perhaps independently, as long as we continue to have a world of peace and property rights, then we can all prosper. Now, there is the issue of might some of us get out competed by these AIs and how would that play out?